So over here you can see that I got a table and now uh, you can see that there's a field known as member ID. And let's say what I want to make sure is that none of the uh, member IDs are a duplicate right here. Names can be duplicates, but member IDs, they cannot be duplicates. They need to be unique. So what we can do is we can allow or not allow duplicates. And to do that, we need to right click on the uh, table right here and go to design view. So once you go around over here, I'm going to go around into member text as you can see right here. And here you can see indexed is an option. Once you open this out, you can see that you can allow duplicates right here or say no duplicates. So I'm just going to go to no duplicates right here. And this is what I have. There is no duplicates over here. So uh, this is um, for the phone number, as you can see right here. So index, there's no duplicates. And I'm going to make sure that same goes for uh, the member ID as well. So I'm just going to go around right here. No duplicates right here. So both for member ID and phone number, I don't want any duplicates right here. For others, it's fine. So I'm just going to go on to the design view, uh, data seed view right now, and then press save. And here, this is what you have. So I can press anything right here. But over here, uh, let me just go around and type in the same name like Bella right here and type in enter. You can see that uh, everything is okay. But if I were to go around and type in the exact same value right here, let me just copy this and then go around and paste it, press enter. You can see that right now it's okay, but here it says uh, the table were not, uh, the uh, changes you requested to the table were not su successful because they uh, would create duplicate values in the index. So mm -hmm. you can see that it actually has this right here. So if I were to change out the value right here just a bit, then it accepts out the data. Same goes out for the phone number as well. So if I were to go around and then uh, uh, paste it up. So let me just go around and type it 445, 445 and 7677 right here. So right now nothing happens, but as soon as I click away, it says the changes you are you, uh, requested to the table were not successful because they create duplicate again. So it does require you to change this out just like this. And this is what you have. And that is how you can allow or not allow duplicates inside of tables, inside of Access Database. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.